Would you like to share digital resources in the form of links with your students? Link libraries in JT Learn, just like document libraries, can link to any digital content like audio, video recordings, screencasts, images, PowerPoints, and much more. Please watch the video entitled Create and Organize Document Libraries if you haven't viewed, already viewed it. It gives a background on document libraries and serves as the foundation for this video. If you have watched that video, continue on for a brief tutorial on how to create and organize JTLearn link libraries. You can place a link library on any page in JTLearn, just like document libraries. Navigate to any page. In this case, I'll navigate to my Physics 1 page. Use the gear in the upper right hand corner to go to Add an App. Go to the Links app. A dialog box pops up where we can enter the name of our link library. There are a couple of ways we can make our link libraries appear on a page. Notice that our, our new link library, Newton's Second Law, appears in our Site Contents page for that page. One way is to directly place it on the page, and another is to make sure that it populates in the Quick Launch navigation. To add a link library directly to a page, navigate to the page you would like to place it on. So we'll go back to our Physics 1 page. Note that it has already been created through the Add an App. We'll see that when we, we go to place it under the page. Go to Edit in the upper right hand corner, then Insert App Part, and notice here is our Newton's Second Law Links Library. Place your cursor where you would like it to appear on the page and where you want it to be positioned. Select Newton's Second Law, or whatever you called your link library, and then click Add. And then Save in the upper right hand corner. You can also drag and move the library later when you are in this edit mode if you decide to change its location. If we insert more than a few links, link libraries on a page, it might get a little cluttered over time, especially if we have other content like images, text, and more. So a way around this is to use links in the quick navigation on the left-hand side. Notice how our new link library, new Second Law, is residing under our recent creations in the Quick Launch navigation. Let's move it so that it's under the Teacher Page link, and we, begin, we can begin to archive other link libraries under that. We click Edit Links, and then we can drag the link to wherever we would like to place it. So as noted, here's our Newton Second Law as a link library sitting underneath our Teacher Page link. We can continue to add other link or document libraries underneath that link or wherever we'd like in the, in the Quick Launch navigation. Now let's look how we can populate a link library with link resources. Let's navigate to the actual library, then click Add New Link. This brings up a form where we can fill in the actual URL to our resource, and then we also would uh, want to type in a description so that it doesn't look just like a URL but actually has a description of what that link is. We can link to documents, PowerPoints, whatever we need to. Typically we'll share something from our own OneDrive that we've created, but sometimes we'll share things from YouTube or other places, and we can just paste that URL in this location. We want to hit Save, and notice that it populates the actual res link resources resource that we put into our library. Keep in mind, how you organize your content is often dictated by your course resources and how the course flows out, and your own personal preferences. Thanks for watching.